it's my pleasure to introduce Frederick Nikigwani from Zimbabwe representing <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you. Uh, so, this presentation um, is titled Africa Must Speak Money as a Language, motivated by the fact that money puts you on the table where ordinarily you'll be on the menu. We need to take Africa off the menu of the world's capitalists and put it exactly where it's supposed to sit in the front seat and be the chairman and we control all the resources that we have. This is the map of, um, of the world at night. Africa is the darkest place. That means Africa is on the menu. All those countries that you see them in the light, they are busy starting, doing strategies to make sure that they put Africa on the menu. They will come in, they will take all the resources whilst all of us are sleeping. As in, and as you can see, when we're sleeping there in broad daylight and taking all the money. I, I, don't, I don't understand. All those countries that were in the light fit in Africa by area. One billion of us are producing less than the Canadians or 36 million. All those minerals sitting there in Angola, DRC, and Central African Republic. All the oil being taken away from Nigeria. All the educated Zimbabweans. The industrial South Africans. All of us are failing to produce less than Canada. You are the chosen 1%. To whom much is given, much is expected. You have been exposed to how organized capital works. You were supposed to learn and absorb like sponges. You have seen how organized capital creates farms that feed so, ma so many people they even can afford to throw away food from fast food restaurants after one hour when they cooked it. Creating so much infrastructure they produce enough energy to light up whilst Africa is sleeping. Look at that skyline. All of us want to live there. The leaders of tomorrow want to leave Africa and live in that skyline. You have noticed uh, and experienced how this system of organized capital can create billionaires under 30 just by ideas. The world's information was organized by people who graduated from college before the age of 25. The richest company in the world is selling us gadgets, which are not even food, and all of us want to own one of them in the, uh, in the room. This is Apple. You have realized how money gives you a choice. This is to quote one of the, um, uh, the best investors in Atlanta who said, the good thing about money, it gives you a choice. The role of all everyone in business and in entrepreneurship is to go and get as much choice as you can so that you take Africa forward. There's a discord, ladies and gentlemen, we need to correct it. Africa is not singing the right tune. There is a discord. You've got 200, lang 200 languages trying to speak a language and no one can understand what's happening in Africa. You have 54 countries in the name of sovereignty are pulling apart from each other, all of them trying to build their own sovereignty so that it's difficult to export coffee to Kenya than it is to send it to the United States of America and Europe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a dream. But one billion of us are dreaming in different directions. Creating a trail of poverty where there's a whole lot of money sitting in tech havens all over the world. Money sitting in dungeons and basements in Nigeria and tamers and rates itching on all that capital. Creating a trail of poverty all over the place. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to go and get the choice for Africa. And that is upon you. But don't despair. One of us in Africa has learned the language of money. Mauritius is smaller than some farms in Zambia and South Africa. Only 45 by 65. The British left that, the British left that island saying there is nothing they can do with that island because it only has uh, sugar to do. But today they understood how to bring foreign direct investment into the country and their GDP is, is growing faster than anyone else. We have lessons, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine if Africa was Mauritius by 54. All 54 countries thinking like Mauritius, keeping capital safe, and all of us pulling in one direction. This will create so much food for us, so much infrastructure. We will survive and be the best in Africa. It's upon you. Yeah.